Human beings should not be treated as pawns in a political game. If you want to deal with the problem, then do it if you are a leader by participating in the solution. Does this look like a political game, Kamala? Well, law enforcement sources say a group of suspected cartel gunmen armed with rifles and body armor were seen on camera crossing illegally into the United States in front in Texas on Saturday night. Elite Border Patrol BORTAC agents were called out and they searched the area, but by then, poof, they were gone. Joining me now is Vivek Ramaswamy, Republican presidential candidate. Vivek, um, <laughs> we're told still by the left that it is racist to want a closed border. So can we then say you are pro-terrorist when you want an open border? Because that looks like what we're welcoming into the country, in addition to everyone else. An open border is not a border, Laura. And I just think the remarkable thing right now is that we are spending hundreds of billions of dollars of military resources to protect somebody else's border from an invasion halfway around the world. When we have an invasion, literally now an armed invasion, across our own southern border that we're not doing a thing about. And what I think we need in our foreign policy, Laura, is a revival of a modern Monroe Doctrine. That above all else, if there's one purpose of the U.S. military, it is to protect the American homeland, to protect Americans here on American soil, whether that is a Chinese spy balloon or a spy base in Cuba or now armed cartel gunmen or Chinese-made fentanyl coming across the southern border with Mexican drug cartels. Yes, we will use and are legally and morally and ethically justified in using our own military to secure our own border rather than somebody else's border in Ukraine or anywhere else. That's the kind of leadership we need, and that's my plan as president. Well, you know, a lot of Democrats now are light bulb time, trying to figuring out what the heck is happening. It's a disaster for their states. Fellow Democrats, like we saw Adams of New York, the mayor, and now Massachusetts Governor Maura Healey uh, is having a change of heart. Watch this then and now video. Do you support Massachusetts becoming a sanctuary state? I think we have a system that's working well here. There are a number of places that have uh, adopted a status as a sanctuary city. And I think that that is, is working. The increased level of demand is not slowing down. Expanding shelter at a rapid pace, and it's unsustainable. For this reason, today I am declaring a state of emergency in Massachusetts. Vivek, these people are just shameless. It was obvious from the beginning this was going to be a catastrophe for regular working class people, and now they're just getting it? Because what, the elites in Boston are upset? Okay. That's exactly right. Now the donor class that pulls the strings in both parties has decided it's now inside the Overton window to actually complain about the southern border. The problem is it is too little too late. And the fact is, Laura, even the wall, which they actually criticized long ago, most people are now quietly on the side of the wall, even Democrats are. That wall itself is insufficient because they're building tunnels underneath that wall that they're driving trucks through. So I think we have to take the bold step of using our own military to, see to seal that Swiss cheese of a southern border. That's how we end the fentanyl crisis, the human trafficking crisis, the 10,000 to 14,000 illegal migrants per day. That's going to take courage. That's what I think it takes an outsider to deliver. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.